Alright guys, welcome to tutorial number 44 and in this tutorial it's actually going to be really easy. What I have to do is show you guys how to code the close crap method in remember right here finally once you're done having your conversation once you know you chatted with someone and you had enough of them you you know close out of the program and it closes all the crap in Java it's pretty much the housekeeping stuff what you need to do when you're done using streams and sockets all that crap so go ahead and make a new method outside or right under your while chatting method because this is gonna happen once you're done chatting and let's name it actually we need to code this first close streams and sockets after you are done chatting looks pretty good so we'll name this of course don't have many choices public void close crap and obviously we have to build this ourselves Java would not be ridiculous enough to name something close crap although I wish there was a built-in method called close crap because that would just make my day but anyways the first thing we want to do is give the user prompt that says um, you know uh, new line closing connections dot 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 because we ain't done yet alright so this just you know wow I definitely spelled connections like that are you kidding me there you go that's a little bit better so now we just give them a nice little prompt that says you know what closing connections that what we're doing right now give us some time to do it so remember um, when I told you guys that it would be stupid and also not very good in programming terms to let the user be able to type when they're not connected to anyone well that's the first thing we want to do we want to shut down their ability to type so able to type go ahead and set this equal to false and this is another small method that we're gonna to have to build later on so after this how do we shut down everything well we actually need to put it in a try catch statement try catch and what do we want to catch IO exception IO exception and if we couldn't shut everything everything down successfully we'll just go ahead and print stack trace which pretty much uh, shows us our error message but anyways hopefully we're not gonna see that hopefully what's gonna happen is it's gonna allow us to execute this try block which consists of three very very short lines of code so the first thing we need to do is we need to close the streams when we are done with it so remember the name of the first stream that we could send stuff to them was output go ahead and close this which pretty much says okay you don't need that anymore I'm just gonna close it the input stream which pretty much allowed us to you know receive messages from the user input close right like that and the last thing that we need to do is we need to close the overall connection so the socket that's what I'm talking about so connection close right there closes the socket so again this closes the socket or the main connection between you know your computer and another computer the output closes the stream to them and the input closes the stream from them and you basically want to close things down because if you don't then it's just gonna waste memory and if you have a bunch of you know empty uh, servers or excuse me empty streams and empty sockets sitting on your server that don't get used then it's just gonna eat your memory over and over and over again kind of be a waste of uh, you know memory and resources on your server or computer so guys good news that's all you have to do for closing crap down again what this does is once you're done chatting closes all the streams and sockets pretty much good housekeeping stuff so in the next tutorial we're gonna be getting rid of you know 90% of these errors because I'm gonna be showing you guys how to code that send message method which basically takes a message and displays it in your chat window so anyways thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys then